Hey guys, Eric and SoCal Cigars here. So, you may or may not notice that this is coming right off the heels of the last video I did about cutters um, and how to cut your cigar properly. And if you saw that video, you'll notice that I mentioned this cigar that I just did a crown cut on is a really, really tight draw. Okay, you see my cheeks sinking in? That's how hard this stupid thing is to draw on. Here's what I'm going to do. I figured this would be a great opportunity <clears throat> to try my uh, cigar reamer and show you guys how that works. So, there is my beautiful cigar reamer. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. Okay. And so one side is going to be a cigar reamer. The other side is going to be a nubber, which is, I'll show you what that is. But it's always a 50-50 shot to see which one I actually pull out. So let's see if we get... Wow, second time I've got the right one on the first try. I'm impressed. So here is a cigar reamer. <clears throat> okay, so what you'll notice, and there's other brands, but this is just one I got on Amazon. It was like 13 bucks. And why I like this one is it's a little less aggressive looking than the other ones. But if I run my finger where these little cuts are, it actually is catching my skin. You can't tell, but it's catching my skin. So it's not like they're just a level cut. They're a little bit kicked up, okay? So here's how I'm gonna do this. Because I've already lit this cigar up, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna run my cigar through my cutter. And what, I, what I'm gonna actually do is I wanna cut off the burning end of my cigar, okay? That's what I'm gonna cut off, okay? Why I'm doing that is because I, I want to ream it from that end and I don't want to ream it through the burning cigar. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So um, you may do it differently. You may have just wanted to go through the back, but for me, I just wanted to go through the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up to the center and I can just, I don't know if you can see it or not. That thing is wound tight. That's why this thing's such a hard draw. It's a bad, it's a bad, it's a bad roll. Okay, so what I've, all I've done is I'm lining this up where I'm in the center of my cigar, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this through. I may have to kind of twist it a little bit. And I'm gonna get this thing to come out the back of my cigar. Okay, not right in the middle, but close enough. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of go in and out a little bit. And I'm going to ream the center of my cigar out. You probably can't tell, but the, Maybe you can. There's little bits of tobacco that are stuck now in there. Okay, so it definitely did. It did, did, uh, and you can see it sort of pulled some out of the front. Okay, that's sort of the idea. Sort of destroy the center of that cigar so I get a better draw. Okay, a little better. Maybe let's try going from the back. We can go right through the, through the center there. Okay, sorry, I keep going off camera. And I'm gonna just kind of ream in and out. Okay. Okay, it did, it, it, it worked. At least it feels like it worked. Let's light it up and see if it, it actually worked. It is, so I would say now, granted, I kind of destroyed my cigar, but um, I just wanted to, I wanted to show you from the fresh end. I didn't want to go through that burning end. So, yeah, it's a little screwed up. This will correct. Um, probably would be better to do it from a cigar that you've just cut and drew on and could feel it was too tight. Because um, I'm never a, a big fan of relighting a cigar because I can already taste it's a little bit more bitter. But I can tell you. I would say the draw is probably 50% better than it was. So I will argue that these little cigar reamers actually do the job. Um, there's other brands out there, uh, like the big popular one is, is a little more aggressive. I'll put a picture up of what that one is. Um, this is again, just like a kind of a cheapy one off of uh, Amazon, but I would say it works just fine. It definitely made my cigar uh, probably 50% easier to draw on. Okay, uh, let me put that down and I'm gonna show you 
because if you've never seen a nubber, the other end of this comes off and it's a little three spikes. You can see it against my skin. See the three little spikes? So I know some people have thought that this was a way to stick the end of your cigar and make it like a punch. It's not what this is actually for. This is actually when you smoke your cigar really, really small, all the way down, you actually jam this into the side of your cigar like this. And that way you don't have to hold the cigar when it's down near your fingers and burn your fingers. Back in the day, in the 60s and 70s, <laughs> this would have been more what we what was called a roach clip for when you got down to the very end of a joint and it was too hard to hold. I don't know, I'm not, I'm just telling you I don't smoke weed, it's not my thing. <clears throat> so, but I do know from people that did. It's called either a roach clip or an alligator clip. Um, I usually had like leather and like feathers hanging off it and it was all decorative and you could put it on your hat and it looked like a decoration but then you could unclip it and clip it onto the end of the roach and do that. This is the cigar version of that. So any of you that are that want any of the uh, backstory, that's kind of the idea behind this is that you don't have to burn your fingers, you can hold your cigar with this little thing. And although, although I don't use these, it actually works pretty good. It's, it holds on better than I anticipated. I've never used it before. Um, I've always thought they were kind of silly, but to be honest with you, it actually it actually feels pretty good. And it, it the holes because the holes are plugged, it, it doesn't cause a draw issue or a leaking issue of uh, anything. It seems to work. Yeah, what the hell? So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys. I just figured on the tail end of the other video. While I had a cigar that was drawing bad, I figured what, what a not great opportunity to show you that you can actually buy one of these reamers. Um, they're not expensive. And just, I would, I would argue don't do it after you've lit your cigar unless you want to. I mean, this worked for me. But typically when you cut a cigar and you do your dry draw, which I always recommend, you can usually tell if it's too tight. I would ream it at that point. And with this subtle reamer, I would go in and out a few times and really keep dry drawing up until you feel a good draw because it's really not going to be much different than when it's lit so maybe do all that during your dry drawing and then get that uh get that through there several times and make sure you're happy with it and then if it happens to be like the one i got which i don't know if you i don't know there's no really brand name on this one but it came in this box um, on the back it just says cigar draw tool enhancer cigar needle so maybe look up that on amazon and you'll probably find it but you know, it's basically just an aluminum tube that has this, nub this number thing on one end and the draw tool on the other. And again, I think it was like 12 or $13. Um, so uh, this could definitely save one of your cigars because I have seen people get frustrated and toss a decent cigar because it just had a tight draw and they couldn't, they would roll it in their fingers and they would mush on it and they would do all these things. They keep cutting it and cutting it and it unravels and they get all frustrated at that rate at least maybe try to salvage it with one of these things. Uh, it's just another, you know, there's a lot of tools and things out there that I don't think serve a great purpose sometimes. They're just almost like someone made it just to make something. This thing actually works and it actually does an actual difference to your cigar and it can actually salvage, especially man, if you buy a $20, $30 cigar and you get a tight draw, that can really be disappointing. So why not save that cigar and, uh, and still be able to enjoy it by just reaming it out a little bit. So anyway, uh, just wanted to throw that out there while I was already doing another video and this happened I just figured I'd capitalize on the moment and Shoot another video out so you can see that you can in fact remedy a tight draw cigar Anyway again Eric at SoCal Cigars have a great weekend and I will see you on the next video